right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me set this down. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share this practice with uh, each and every one of you this morning. Let's allow this practice to be your practice, finding your path and your specific practice so you, you find what you're looking for out of your practice. We'll begin by sitting all the way back into our chairs. If you're following along on the music playlist, it's number 26. You can feel free to go ahead and get that started right now. We're going to sit all the way back so that our backs are supported by the seat back. And a uh, nice tall posture here as we sit in this chair and allow those knees to hover above the ankles. And if you're able, feet flat on the floor. Just a nice, uh, nice calm posture. And as we begin, just allow yourself to close your eyes if that's comfortable. If not, leave them wide open. And then we'll start by just beginning to just start noticing our breath, our inhales and our exhales. We just want to start to feel the breath as we inhale and exhale. Feel the coolness as it passes in through our nose or mouth on the inhale. And the warmth as the air passes and exits our body through our nose or mouth. And we do that just to initially start to direct our attention towards something other than what's going on around us. We start to focus inward. We start to focus on our breath. And as we begin to feel the breath, we start to connect with our body's sensations, allowing our body to feel something. So with that breath, let's begin deepening the inhales and lengthening, lengthening the exhales. And so to the extent in which you're able to do that, breathe in as deeply as you can. And exhale as long as you can. Still trying to make an audible sound on both the inhale and the exhale. And as we deepen the inhale and the exhale, that breath is something that allows us to connect with our physical practice. So as we begin our physical practice in a few moments, that breath will guide the pace in which we move and it will also inform us of whether we're in the postures the appropriate way for our bodies today. It will also allow us to tune in more deeply with our sensations, allowing ourselves to feel our practice a little bit more. And so as we continue to feel our practice, feel free to then let go of any tension that's in our body. Let go of any apprehension in terms of how we move our bodies. And just seek to move in the most natural way that you're designed to move today. Okay? So let's scooch forward into our chairs and remain sitting nice and tall. Our backs are off the seat backs and our feet are still flat on the floor. Knees hovering right above those ankles. We'll bring our hands to heart center and begin connecting physical movement with that deep breath. As we shoot the hands straight up, inhale nice and deeply and then palms up toward the sky as we exhale and wave those arms out nice and wide. Let's do that four more times. Inhale up nice and tall and fan those arms out. Good. Keep reaching and reaching higher Breathing in even deeper and then on the exhale, trying to soften and relax and release. A couple more times right there. Inhale and exhale. And that breath is a breath that moves at your own pace, at your own pace. Each one of us has different capacities, different lung capacity and breath capacity. Good. This next time we inhale, leave those hands up there and then just breathe in and out, keeping those hands nice and tall. As if we're holding on to maybe a little bit of a beach ball or a soccer ball up in those hands, let's begin rocking side to side. Exhale over to the right and inhale nice up top and back to neutral spine. And then exhale to the left and then back to neutral spine. And just keep doing that. Inhale to center and exhale back to neutral. Getting back to that audible breath and the connection of breath and movements, bringing those two together. You know, the breath and the connection with our breath too also allows us to do one thing 
throughout our practice that's really neat. It allows us to try to practice our ability to stay calm in any situation. To stay calm in any situation. As long as we have control of our breath, we have control of our ability to stay calm. One last time, exhale to a side bend. Inhale, bring those hands to heart center on the exhale. Good. Ooh, a little bit of shoulders right there. All right. Let's remain seated nice and tall. We'll just start with some knee taps and just start alternating our knees, lifting one knee at a time, opposite hand to opposite knee. Okay, the natural tendency is to want to lean back here, try to avoid that, try to lean actually forward towards those knees and engage our core a little bit more. Okay, that's right. It's a little bit uh, time to start heating up that midsection of ours. Good. And if you feel comfortable doing so, start reaching for those heels or start bringing those heels up toward those hands. So lift those knees a little bit higher and then you can reach just a little bit lower Still leaning into this and trying to tap those heels. Awesome, that's great. There we are. Just gently starting to work our body and work our core and heat up just a little bit more. Excellent. Well, as we come to stillness, bring both feet down to the ground and take that right foot only and point those toes up, straightening that leg, straightening that leg. Bringing our hands to heart center, we're going to shoot our hands up nice and tall, and exhale to the outside of that right leg. Inhale, and exhale and rotate. Still trying to keep our backs off the seat back. Total of five times right here with that leg and the air. We don't have to lengthen the leg. We can always bend the knee and just float the knee up just a little bit. All right, and then on to the other side. So our left foot up, just bring it up and hold it up. Inhale as we reach, exhale, bring both hands to the outside of the left hip. And then again, a total of five here. Just moving at the pace of your breath. Finishing with an inhale and an exhale. Very nice. Separate those feet just a little bit more. Hands on the inside part of your knees, fingertips inside, thumbs right across the top of the quads. Let's go to the cat and cow now. So we're gonna inhale as we look up and arch our lower back and then exhale, look down and round through our spine. Good, yeah, nice and gentle. Connect that movement and breath as we inhale, look, and exhale, and around. Inhale, think about those shoulders coming toward each other, down and away from our ears, squeezing in the middle of our back, and then exhale, think about those shoulders separating from each other, separating from each other to get a stretch between our shoulder blades. So engaging and disengaging the muscles. Working more than just our lower back here, working the full extent of the spine. One last, cat and cow. Good. In this seated position, a little bit of a seated mountain climber now. We're going to reach opposite hand and opposite knee. And then we're just going to alternate, alternate side to side with that. So opposite hand, opposite knee, a little coordination, making our minds think as we move our bodies. Reach for it, inhale on the reach, exhale as we come back down toward the ground. Still leaning forward, backs off the seat back. Good, nice high knees here, engage that core, just a little bit extra. Maintaining that nice deep inhale and exhale. Awesome. One more time each side. One more time to the right hand and one more time to the left hand. Bring everything down. Excellent. Let's come out of our chairs now. We're going to turn our chairs completely around, completely around and stand behind them. Seat bottoms facing us. 
you have a block or something that resembles a block, go ahead and set it right on top of that chair so we know where it's at. Okay, just so you have to see how I'm set up now, I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see uh, a little bit better. All right, so we're going to find all fours, which means hips right above those knees and ankles and shoulders right above those hands. And now cat and cow right here, cat and cow from this position. So look up, arch our back, lift our tailbone a little bit more, exhale and round through our spine. Push through those hands, push through those feet. Inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together, exhale, separate them and round your spine, trying to get your spine as tall as you can up toward the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, and we're gonna do two more just like that. Breathe in and breathe out, moving at your own pace. Again, working those spine, uh, spinal muscles and, and, our, and our spinal structure, that's a good thing. Excellent. As we come back to stillness, let's take our right hand forward and left heel back, initially starting with spinal balance. And then we'll move quickly into sunburn here, which means we're going to tap our right hand toward our left knee, exhaling as we meet at our midline, inhale as we extend and reach back out. Give me five of these. Exhale and inhale. Hmm. There we are. And inhale. Good. A lot of core to begin with right at the beginning here. Awesome. When you're done with a total of five here, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So right heel back, left hand forward, thumb up toward the sky. Good, nice exhale, long exhale as we connect knee and elbow. Inhale and reach, create that length with your body, fingertips to your heels or toes. Very nice, five of these, five of these. And after that fifth one, very nice. Set the feet down, a little bend in those knees and sweep those hands up nice and tall. And exhale the heart center, mountain pose. Go ahead, standing nice and tall in that mountain pose. Feet about hip distance or slightly wider. Let's make a nice slow version of our sun salutation A as we inhale. Shoot those hands up nice and tall and keep them up there. Keep them up there. Reach through those fingertips and breathe. Reach a little bit higher through those shoulders and breathe. Maybe lift up one to the balls and toes of your feet now, lifting those heels up. A little balance right there. And breathe. Keep reaching. Keep reaching. Good. Set those heels down. On our next exhale, long spine as we forward fold on down. Coming on down, either stopping at the chair, going beyond the chair and resting our hands onto the block. We're gonna spend some time in forward fold. So let's find the most comfortable spot we can in this forward fold. Either hands to the ground or onto that block. We can also place our hands above or below our knee on the legs. But the key thing is allowing ourselves to let go. Allowing ourselves to feel free in this position. This hinge position through our hips, a little soft bend in our knees, but we feel a nice stretch through our hamstrings into our glutes, into our lower back. We allow our arms to just hang freely. We allow the crown of our head to fall towards the floor and then relax through our face. We have a nice expressionless face so that we're not clenching our jaw or our teeth. Take a couple more breaths right here as we relax in this calming pose. When we find our next inhale, then we'll find the top of the chair in a nice flat back. A nice flat back from the crown of our head to our tailbone. Get that spine nice and long, as long as you can. Almost as, uh, sitting back onto our heels, even though the entire foot's still on the ground, it almost feels like we're sitting back. We're sitting back as if we're trying to set our tailbone on the wall straight behind us. Give us that nice dynamic tension up the back of the legs. 
Take a nice big inhale and on the exhale, step the feet towards the back of our mats and bring our ears between our arms for downward facing dog. Good. Ears between those arms, drawing those hips back even more. Again, that tailbone as if it's trying to press onto the back wall. We feel the entire foot on the mat or the ground, heels to toes. And a good stretch between those shoulder blades as our ears are listening to our biceps. Very nice. A little detour here as we rock forward, bring those shoulders above the hands, find plank position, our heels will lift up. And then next time we go back to uh, downward facing dog, our right hand is going to reach to the outside of our left leg. And then go back to plank position. Then our left hand is going to reach to the outside of our right leg. And continue to do that. Inhale back forward, plank position. Exhale, press back to downward dog. Continue to alternate those hands. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do one more time, each side flowing. And then we'll find a spot where we're going to hold that position. So the next time that right hand reaches back to the outside of the left leg, hold that position in that down dog and just maybe grab onto the outside of the shin or just right behind the knee. From here, keep pressing straight down with that left hand onto the chair and then take a peek under that left armpit as we give a little bit of dynamic tension, pulling on the leg to look underneath the armpit and up toward the ceiling. Just give just a deeper stretch to the left side of the body. That breath is still free flowing, no matter how much we're rotating. And that breath is our guide for how much we should be in this. Good. Let's come out of this inhale forward plank, same thing, other side, left hand reaches back to the right leg, to the outside of that knee or shin, and then we take a peek under that right armpit and up toward the ceiling. Breathe through this, feel something from this. We'll extend it, stretch on the right side of our body. Good. Let's bring both hands onto the chair, downward facing dog, exhale, press it back. Let's continue our sunnies as we inhale, step forward towards the chair, exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, sweep those hands nice and tall, and exhale to heart center. Let's keep going, inhale up, and exhale, and forward fold. Inhaling up to flat back, and exhale, press back to downward facing dog. On our next inhale, we step forward, bend those knees, sink into those legs, use the power of those legs to reverse that swan dive right back to heart center. Let's do that at least four more times. Inhale up and exhale and fold. Inhale up to flat back and exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward and sink into those legs. Inhale, sweep up nice and tall. And exhale right back to heart center again. Good. Keep going. Inhale. And exhale. Connecting movement and breath. Inhale. Up, flat back, and exhale. Press back. Downward dog. Inhale. Step it forward. Exhale. Bend those knees and inhale. Sweep up nice and tall. And right back to heart center. Keep going. Inhale. Up. And exhale. Down. Inhale. Up, flat back. And exhale, step it back. Good. Inhale, step it forward, bend those knees, and just drive through those legs. Float those hands up nice and high. Exhale, heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, up and exhale, hands full. Inhale, up the flat back. Exhale, bring it on back. Inhale, as we rock it forward. Step it forward, bend those knees. Inhale, sweep up nice and tall, and right back to heart center. So Sunday is all meant to just engage our entire body, tips to toes, and get our body heated up, heated up. Inhale, up, flat back, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, bend those knees, sweep up nice and tall, 
and our hands exhale to heart center, mountain pose, mountain pose. All right, okay, so let's take those chairs now. We're gonna bring those chairs to uh, the left side of our mat, seat back facing in, okay, seat back facing in. Okay, and we'll start to wear standing postures with a warrior one, warrior one. And uh, I'm gonna start right here with warrior one and I'm gonna turn to the side. So right foot forward, left foot back, left foot is completely on the ground, both feet completely on the ground, but left foot's pointing off to the left side, okay? All right, good. And we're just gonna square up our hips just a little bit. They're not gonna fully square up, square up our shoulders, arms up, but uh, shoulders rolled down and away from our ears, good. And we've got that chair right there on our left side if we need it. We're going to squeeze between those shoulder blades as we lift our heart up to the sky just a little bit more. Good. And, and just a little bit of dynamic now. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. Okay? Round those shoulders. Separate those shoulders from each other. Open back up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Remember that cat and cow we did? Okay? Other arm on top of the other arm. So alternate top and bottom with those arms. Let's continue to do that. Inhale. Open and exhale and round one last time inhale open and exhale and round good come back to warrior one let's find warrior two inhale and then exhale front knee and foot stay right where they're at left foot points on the left side of the room arms front and back okay now i'm going to turn to the side chair's going to be right my way but that's okay all right Good, so we find Warrior Two. I've got that chair right there, but we're gonna add a little dynamic uh, to Warrior Two as well. We're gonna sweep those arms. And as we sweep up, we're gonna straighten the legs. So we'll palms up to the sky, inhale. Palms to the ground, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale, give me two more. Nice and tall, and exhale down. We can also just keep a hand right there on the chair. Good, and exhale, find warrior two, and stay right there. Good. So we're gonna move into reverse warrior, but to do that, we're gonna take both hands, we're gonna push forward, drive those hands forward, and then lift that right hand up toward the sky. And that's the dynamic motion that we're gonna do. We just did it one time, so let's do it five times, okay? Exhale as we push forward. Drive the hands forward. Inhale that right hand to the sky. Okay, we can always just leave our left hand right on the chair and push and then lift, keeping that front knee bent. Keeping that front knee bent right toward our toes. Good. Keep digging right here. Drive, push, and lift. After a total of five, let's all meet with our hand nice and high up into the sky right there. Good. Now we're gonna move towards right angle pose where we have a dynamic. We're gonna take a nice big inhale on the exhale. That right forearm's gonna stop or set on top of the right leg. That front knee is still bent. Back hand can be to the chair or up toward the sky. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach and lift. We're gonna reach overhead, bicep to our ear, and then lift up toward the sky. Again, reach overhead, extend that right angle, and lift. Good, give me three more, just like that. Exhale, and inhale. Again, exhale, and inhale. Last time, exhale, and inhale. Come back to warrior two. Let's lengthen that front leg. Good, triangle pose. So we're gonna extend those arms out to warrior two, reach as far as we can on our exhale. When we can reach no further, then we're gonna tip over. Rest that right hand above or below our knee on the right leg, back hand to the sky or the chair. Good. So the dynamic here is sweeping back the arm into a circle. So we're gonna sweep backward into a circle and lift up. And then back into a circle, sweep down and up. Total of five of those. Exhale as we come down, inhale up. And as we come down, you might notice you're coming down and up with that hand onto the leg. Awesome. Exhale back to warrior two. Very nice. 
nice. Let's switch to the other side. Let's switch to the other side. Okay, so the chair's on the right side now. Seat back facing in from the right side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Both feet on the ground, same idea, warrior one pose. Warrior one pose, hips coming forward, but listen to those hips and knees, and especially those ankles. Deep bend in that left knee, arms up, and then we're gonna open our hearts up. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. Remember, you got the chair right there if you need it. You can still squeeze those shoulder blades while still having a hand on the chair. Good. And then give yourself a hug. Round those shoulders. Exhale. Good. Four more times. Inhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And exhale. And round. Keep going. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. Inhale, open and squeeze, stretch the front of our shoulders and chest out. Nice. And one last time. Good. We're going to find that warrior two. On the exhale, that front foot stays right where it's at. Back foot opens up, points on the right side. Arms front and back. Good. Now I'm going to turn to the side just so you can continue to see that. All right, warrior two sweeps. Warrior two sweeps. Good, keep that deep bend right there. Arms out and then palms up toward the sky. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, sink back in, knees to toes. Good, inhale. And exhale. Total of five right here. All right. Reaching nice and high in total control and command of how we're moving today. Last time, we'll find warrior two with that knee bent, and then a push to reverse with both hands drive forward and lift that left hand up toward the sky. Right hands on the chair if you want to, or behind the back. Good, four more just like that. Press, and then lift, reverse warrior, keeping that front knee bent. Exhale. And inhale, feel that length across the front of our body through those ribs. Keep going. One more time. We'll meet in that reverse warrior, reach it nice and high. And then our next exhale, we'll bring that left forearm to the top of that left leg, back hand up to the sky, or just leave it right there on the chair. And with right angle, we're gonna reach overhead, bicep to the ear, extend that right angle, then inhale, and lift back up. Four more times, just like that. Exhale, on the reach, inhale, on the lift. Sink it in, using that breath. Yoga just has a way of connecting those two and allowing us to flow through. On that last time, inhale and then exhale right back to warrior two. Lengthen that front leg, let's find that triangle. Inhale as much as you can, exhale, and reach as far as you can. We can reach no further. That bottom hand above or below the knee on the leg, back hand up toward the sky and then sweeping back into that circle. Exhale, sweep down, and inhale, sweep up. Good, exhale down. It's like we're grabbing water. Our hand is a, a little cup or a pail, sweeping down to get water. Just allowing those shoulders to close down and lift back up, total of five here. Awesome, let's find warrior two. Stepping forward, coming out of that, excellent job. All right, now we're gonna put those chairs right in front of us, right in front of us. Okay, seat backs facing us. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that, so the seat back's still facing me. And I'm gonna start right here in warrior one position. Warrior one, right foot forward, left foot back. Okay, my right knee is just right in front of that chair and that should be the same way it is for you, okay? Finding that warrior one, sink it in. 
Good. All right. From this deep warrior one position, we're just going to lengthen that front leg. Keep that foot right where it's at. Both feet stay right where they're at. And then we're going to square up hips and shoulders. So by lengthening the leg, we can do that now. And then breathe in nice and tall, finding a wide leg pyramid. Hinging right at the hips, keeping everything else quiet and intact. And as we come down into this pyramid, let's find a chair. Maybe rest our elbows onto that chair. If it feels okay, you can rest your forehand onto your hands or even onto that block that may be on the chair. And just allow yourself to breathe through here. Just let go, relax, release. Embrace this nice, relaxing position. You can even let those arms just hang past your chair like I just did here. So I'm just supporting myself basically with my hand. There's not too much because my legs are right there. But this just feels so good. It feels so good. This relax and release here. It's so calming. Let's take two more breaths in this position. Here, let's re put a bend in that knee and just find our chair with both hands. We're going to find warrior three. We're going to find warrior three. So begin lifting that left heel up off the ground and then playing around with releasing the chair. Releasing the chair. Okay? Now, from here, either that sunbird, one hand on the chair and then right hand to left knee, or warrior three, right hand to left knee and then reach back out. Okay? And I've kind of said sunburn, we can bring that left hand to the seat bottom to be a little bit more stable on that chair. Good, one more time, total of five. And we're gonna set that left foot back about a half step back. Legs still long right here, both hands right on the chair, shoulders above those hands. Left hand will stay pressing down on the chair, right hand to our hip or up toward the sky. So turning towards that front leg. Trying to keep both feet on the ground, heels to toes as best you can. If you find that back heel lifting up, you can adjust it a little bit. Okay, press back a little bit or come out of the twist a little bit more just so you have total control on those feet. Sorry that I'm turning away from you. Deep stretch on the outside of the right hip, sit into the glutes, and even the side of the leg, the IT band. Good. Exhale. Let's bring both hands down. Then step forward, and we're going to do the same thing other side. So you don't move your chair at all. You're just standing straight behind your chair. I'm just going to flip sides so that uh, so we can so I've got the right the best angle for you to see. Okay. All right, let's find warrior one now. Left foot pointing towards the chair. It's just right there in front of the chair. Back foot completely on the ground, that right foot. And then let's find warrior one position. As we settle into warrior one and we find that nice calming breath in this position. Take just one more deep inhale and exhale. Then we're going to begin lengthening that left leg which will allow us to then square up towards our chair. Breathe in nice and tall, and then begin hinging in that wide leg pyramid. And just adapting, allowing ourselves to just find that spot where our body eventually says, I'm good, I'm good. And that's the spot where we just settle in and rest. Okay, I like, again, the spot right here on the chair, and the block works Feels pretty good right on the, some of those pressure points. And then I just uh, let my arms hang down. That's just, that's just how I'm getting into it. I'm just sharing some options. You can keep the elbows on the chair if you want. You can keep the hands on the chair and lift higher. And just find the range of motion which best works for your mobility and your ability right now. How's that leg feel? 
Because yoga is all about self-care. And if we just reverse how that word is, we've got to care for ourselves. In order to care for ourselves, we don't care for ourselves by harming ourselves, by pushing ourselves to the brink. Especially in yoga. That's not self-care. That's not caring for ourselves. Okay? By inflicting pain. Let's take two more breaths right here. And then we'll come on out of this hands on the chair, put a deep bend in that left knee and start floating that right foot up. Let's find warrior three. Good. So lean into it, lean forward, finding that warrior three, and then eventually warrior three sunbird, either that right hand on the ground, left hand to right knee, um, left hand or right hand on the chair, not ground, okay? Don't do as I say, do as I do. Something like that. Good, and then just connect the knee. A total of five right here, total of five. All right, as we come out, just a half step back, both feet on the ground, both hands on that chair. Okay, and with our left hand, we're gonna float it up to the hip or up toward the sky, rotate towards that left side. And breathe. Trying to feel that sensation, not just the rotation in our back, but the outside of that left glute and hip, and the outside of that left leg, that quad. Exhale and release. Good. And let's step forward. All right. Take that chair on the left side, seat back facing in. We'll start with chair pose, or uh, tree pose. Tree pose, staring at a chair, and I just said the name of a pose, how about that? Left foot stays on the ground. Left foot on the ground, right knee and toes, externally rotate, pointing to the right side. Toes can either rest on the block, on the ground above, and bring that ankle above, or the heel above the ankle, or the foot above or below the knee uh, on the leg. And if we're pressing on the leg, really give some force. It's okay to do so. Now I've got that chair right there. Now you can either lean into it like I'm doing with my hip. That's giving me stability without touching it with my hands. Or you can reach down and touch it with your hands, okay? All right. So hands can be at heart center. We can create some branches. We can get some leaves on those trees. Those trees are starting to bloom out there. Or the steeple fingers. Get those biceps next to those ears. Get that shoulder mobility working. Just realize you can't see those steeple fingers with how close I'm standing today. So we're just, well, however it works. Exhale and bring everything down. Keeping the chair right there. Right foot will stay on the ground this time. Actually, both feet will stay on the ground. We'll eventually lift that left foot off the ground. Bring feet and knees together. Inhale, both hands up or keep that left hand on the chair. And we're gonna exhale just the left hand down as we press our hips to the right side. Right hand stays up and reaches nice and high. So left hand can rest on the chair, but we're gonna add a little balance component here. So it's a single leg side bend. So we're gonna begin lifting as we put all the weights in our right foot, we're gonna begin lifting that left foot off the ground and maybe just tapping the chair with that left foot. Okay, really pressing our hips over towards the right as we lift that left leg up. Now that hand can stay right there on the chair. I'm also touching the chair with my left foot. Okay, just a different kind of way to give us that stability and just a, a little bit of a reference point in terms of where we're at and how we're feeling. Awesome. And then release down. Let's switch sides. So tree pose on this side. Right foot stays on the ground. Left knee and toes point to that left side. Open up that hip. Open up that hip. We can set those toes right on the block. Heel above the ankle. Or foot above or below the knee on the leg. And then just settle in. 
Yoga gives us the ability to practice remain calm in any situation. And putting a tree pose right in the middle of our practice like this allows us to interject our practice, create space in our practice. When we're moving a lot, so our body's really active, really mo moving, and we say, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's find some space. Let's find some calm. And just think about what that's doing for our own body in terms of our uh, practicing, not just on the mat, but off the mat. Being able to move, 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 and then stop and still be in control. Stop and still be in control. Any version of arms here, of course. And then when we're ready, we exhale and gently release. Feet and knees together. All right, inhale both hands up nice and tall. Exhale the right hand down only. Reach that left hand nice and high. Reaching into that side bend. That right hand can rest on the chair. We press in our hips to the left side. Weight of our body shifting into that left foot. And then we're gonna start picking up that right foot off the mat and moving that leg towards the chair. Okay, and then experimenting with releasing the chair, maybe tapping the chair with that foot. Of course, the relevance of yoga and being able to find that calm is, is there's, uh, there's a lot of merit to being able to master the ability to be calm. Be calm. Exhale, release down. Good. Let's bring our chairs back to original position and we'll take a seat. As Bruce Lee once said, always fear the most calm person in the room. <laughs> That's right. And I'm guessing that was probably him. Okay. Single leg fold, single leg fold. So we're going to extend our right leg out, heel to the ground, toes toward the shins. I just, uh, if you have a block or something like that, I like to set my heel on the block. You know, just a little bit of softer surface to do so. And then we're just going to inhale up and then crawl down that right leg. Good, just crawl down, stand nice and long, get a nice stretch uh, along that right leg from our heel to our glutes without overdoing it, so we're not trying to force it, we're not trying to bring our nose toward our knee, just think about the crown of the head moving in a plane that's past the foot, that's past the foot. And then just allow that breath to feel more, allow that breath to help you feel more, to release some of the tension, maybe what might be holding on to your ability to feel this at a deeper level. Good. And then our next exhale, we gently release and sit back up. Same thing onto the other side. Again, the heel can be on the ground. I just like to prop it up on the block. Toes toward the shin, dorsiflexion. It helps to lengthen those muscles, but also protect the knee. Inhale up, nice and tall. Exhale and walk down the leg, letting our body adapt into this forward fold. I like to get down to the toes and then just encourage the toes to continue to point towards the shins. Again, that's when I do that, I feel it way up here, way up uh, behind my hamstrings and up close to my glutes. Because it's lengthening those muscles without having to overdo it. Let's sit all the way back into our chairs. And if you got a seat back, I'm just going to show you. Uh, if you got a seat back, I'll show you a different way if you don't have a seat back that can do this. Just leaning back. This is called fish pose. Fish pose is a heart opener. So I'm sitting all the way back, back supported. And I'm just going to open my arms up like we did in that warrior one earlier. And just let that seat back press in to the middle of my back, lifting my heart up toward the sky. Just find, trying to find the comfort. If it hurts, 
That's no bueno. We don't do that. Okay, but if it feels good, just allow yourself to surrender into it. And if we're not in love with this one, one that we've done quite often, we grab the seat back with our hands, palms facing each other. And that'll be a similar purpose in terms of giving ourselves that nice stretch across the chest and shoulders and that heart open. I usually get some snap, crack, and pop when I lean back on the chair this way. Awesome. And then exhale, let's sit all the way back into our chairs, feet flat on the floor. Closing song, if you're following along on the playlist, is Long Time Sun. I hope we see some sun today. It was nice to see it yesterday. All right, so when we find Shavasana, allow yourself to find that relaxing position on our chairs. Find that, allow yourself to let go of any tension that may still be held onto your body, either through muscle engagement or otherwise. With each exhale, release. Identify those areas and release. If it's comfortable, let the eyes close. And those eyelids just, just rest gently without forcing. And that breath to become just a natural everyday breath. Take that expressionless face to where we're not locking our teeth or our jaw. And then find stillness where we're at. Stillness of our bodies. And when we do that, we allow our minds then to experience the connection with our practice from today. Feeling every aspect of our body has been touched. We've done so in a way that has honored our bodies, that has provided self-care because we care for ourselves. And we allow ourselves to experience the joys of what we've done in our yoga practice today. Not only a good physical movement, but also one that allowed us to practice the ability to stay calm, the ability to stay in the moment, despite the challenges that we experienced in our practice. Our closing message. Yoga brings us into the present moment. And it's something to where when we're in the present moment, it takes us out of that spot where we're worried about what will happen tomorrow. It takes us out of that spot where we're regretting or thinking about what should have happened yesterday. And it's about opening our hearts and living from your heart, right here and right now. Because in this present moment and in the right here and now is the only place we need to be. I honor the love and light in each of you as it's also within me. Namaste.